Yes, I was. Where were you? I was on the runway. Uh, we were uh, standing there waiting for the shuttle to come in. I had my cameras all set up. Um, back then, nowadays they have a tower that they stick us in. Back then we just lined up along the edge of the runway by the fence. And I'll never forget this. <clears throat> We don't see it, we don't see it. We're hearing from all the tracking stations and we're starting to see what's going on. You know, we're starting to come to terms with this, and, you know, something's wrong. And then all of a sudden I looked over and there's these little, like the big countdown clock out there, there's these little countdown clocks. And I see it hit zero and then start counting up, which means it should have arrived already. Knowing it can't be late, something happened. And I turned and I looked around and I see them with the families. They're getting the families together and they're pushing them into a bus and these people are crying and everything and then they told us that we have to go, you know, that there's uh, um, been a problem and that we need to go back to the newsroom and we went back to the newsroom there's all these guys speculating, people on the phone, it's getting kind of crazy and we ended up inside the newsroom and when I got to the newsroom the footage of the fireball was on the TV, you could see it. Uh, you know, I knew a couple of them. In fact, I remember a month before or so before the flight, um, Willie McCool, who was the pilot, um, was talking to me in the bleachers outside. And we got on to the topic of, um, of an um, accident in orbit. And he said, you know, if I was to die in space and they were to cancel the program because of my death, um, that would be that they're doing me an injustice because it would mean that I died in vain. Uh, he went on to say that they're very aware of what's going on, that these um, um, are risks that they're willing to take because they truly believe that what's going on right now in, that, in this program will not only benefit them and their children, but their children's children and their children's children's children. It's really the only practical solution we have to the problems of a finite planet with finite resources.